What's up everyone? In my last tutorial, I promised we would create this, but instead, today we're making this product motion graphic in a light motion. It's a little different, but the concept is the same. For this tutorial, we'll need these products. I found them on Pinterest. Honestly, I'm not sure if they're real or AI generated snacks, but that doesn't matter. We'll use them anyway. You can also use your own products. All right, let's get started. Add a circle and adjust its size. Pick a color. This is the one I'm using. Make the circle a bit bigger. Next, bring in the soda can. Adjust its size and place it in the center of the circle. Add the chips bag, resize it slightly and place it behind the soda. Add the second chips bag, rotate it, scale it down a little and position it behind the soda. Adjust until it looks good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Add a rounded rectangle and change its color. Go to edit shape. Set the X value to a negative number to curve the shape. You don't need to adjust the radius. It won't change anything. Stretch the Y value to make it longer. Move the shape down. Hide the product layers for now. Scale the shape until its curve matches the circle's circumference. This will be our mask. Adjust it until it fits nicely. Unhide the product layers. Move the chips inward slightly so they don't overlap with the mask. Duplicate the circle, remove its fill, and add a stroke. Good. Now, let's animate. Add position keyframes to the soda. Drag it down at the first keyframe. Then apply this graph. Repeat the process for the chips, but move them diagonally instead of straight down. Use the same graph.
To make it more realistic, let's add shadows. Apply the same shadow to the other chips layer. Duplicate the soda layer, go to shadows and flip the X position to the opposite side. Lower the opacity for a softer look. Preview it. Don't worry if it looks rough, it won't affect the export. Adjust the chips slightly so they're not touching the mask shape. Nice. Offset the layers by a few frames. The soda should come in first, then the chips. Now let's apply the mask. Select the mask shape and the product layers, then apply the third mask option at the top. Now we have this effect. If the mask isn't aligned correctly, go to edit group and drag the mask down. If it doesn't preview properly, undo the mask, adjust it, then reapply. Move the grouped mask and product layers backward. Go to the stroke layer and link it to the circle. Add scale keyframes to the circle and use the same graph. Now, add the drawing progress effect to the stroke layer and apply the draw gradually preset. Next, let's create a ring shadow. Duplicate the stroke layer and move it inside the mask group. Reset the drawing progress. Change the stroke color to black. Adjust the start to around 30 and the end to around 60. Apply Gaussian Blur and tweak the values. Place it behind the mask. Make it fade in smoothly.
See the difference? Adding shadows makes the whole design pop. The mask might not sit perfectly on the circle. When creating yours, take time to make those small adjustments or just call it creative style. That works too. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new ones. Thanks for watching.